So this is the kind of problem that we can solve two different ways. And we can do it by writing it as the expression that the test is expecting us to do. Uh, and let's go through how to do that. And then I'm gonna show you a workaround um, that will make it a little bit more practical if you ever get stuck on something like this. Armand sent M text messages each hour. So what that tells us is that we're dealing with a rate. So this is gonna be M. And when you're dealing with a rate, typically we're multiplying it by something for five hours. All right, so that's what we're multiplying it by, by five. And this is what Armand's text total is gonna to be. Uh, and then for Tyrone, what we see is that Tyrone had sent P messages each hour. So that's our rate. And even so it says each, it's per, and that right off the bat tells us it's a rate. In this case, it's four. And what they're asking for, which of the following represents the total number of messages sent by him and him. And then on this case, we just recognize that we're adding them together and we have the option C. Now, what happens if you're not great at writing expressions? Well, at that point, what you wanna do is create your own values and then just plug in for, uh, you know, whatever is easiest and just like work through it like if it was a real life problem. So what do I mean by that? Let's say that uh, Armand sent M text messages each hour for five hours. So let's say that M equaled one. We'll keep our numbers real simple here, right? So then what we're doing for Armand, right? It's M and M's equaling one. So what we're gonna do is one times his five hours. So times five. So Armand sent a total of five text messages because he only sent one message per hour. And then for Tyrone, we'll keep this simple and say that he did two. So we'll say that, what was his letter P? So we'll say his P is two and then two times four. Well, that gives us eight. And what we ask ourselves is, well, if M equals one, and we just came up with this number because it's the easiest we can come up with, right? And two, it's another easy number to work with. If we were to plug M for one and P for two in all of these equations, only one of them is gonna give us the same answer as if we added these two together. Eight plus five, that gives us 13. So the question is, if I plug in one for M and two for P here, do I get 13? In this case, no, you get 18. Right, and so on and so forth. And only C is gonna give you the correct answer. All these ones that if you plug in for M and P, you're gonna get a completely different number. 